I've had an idea for a while where I want to create a business in a limited amount of time and see how it goes. One day, I was scrolling through Reddit and noticed a post under r slash I need it with a burrito blanket. I needed that burrito blanket. That's why I have one. It's wonderful. I'm a human burrito. A burrito blanket. That is going to be what I'm going to try to sell. Burrito blanket. Best idea ever. I have no idea what is going to happen. Anyhow, this gave me an idea, a challenge, to somehow create a business within two weeks with a budget of $500 and make it profitable. The first step to creating a business is to have a business model. I decided to go with the drop shipping. Pretty much how this would work is once a customer places an order to the store, which would be me, I would keep a percentage of the order and then go to a supplier, other people are selling the product, and then order what the customer ordered from me, and then the supplier will directly ship the product to the customer without it ever going going through me. Hopefully this won't be the amount of money I lose doing this. Whoa, hello, hi. What the hell the dollar bill to me? Nothing better to do with their money but just to play with it in the open. Like it ain't hard to make a dollar. But then they get robbed and then they're like, oh, I'm gonna file a police report. Look at this. Look how stupid Americans are, bro. Americans are pieces of shit. You don't know what to do with it and you invest it in Forex. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. It's only money. Replaceable. Pretty just pretty disgusting. Granted, I already ate. I'm rich myself. I just would never like play with the universe like this. Not like this. Like, where's the logic? Where's the logic? They're not even trying to share. Not even thinking about sharing. It's more like a prop. Like it's a game out here to like live and breathe and like pay for things. Like it's you know what I'm saying? Ignorant, too much money, don't know what they're doing in life. No direction. They don't want to start startup companies. They want to play with the money in public like it's the thing to do. Any no worthy cause is like, let's just play with it. Is this money for free? It's prop money. Yeah. Okay, you're smart then. You're smart then, because I was talking so much. This is not prop money. That's true. That's legit. <laughs> okay. That's legit. Okay. I, I didn't know it, was, it wasn't prop money. I thought you were just that rich, bro, and you're just like that rich. <laughs> so you just playing with all this money? Because th I was thinking about coming up on you, bro. I was like, damn, that looked like, like 20, 30 bands right there, bro. <laughs> Please work out well, Burrito Blanket. Thank you. I'm going to make a website. I'm going to make a website for this Burrito Blanket. Yeah, all right. So... I'm going to head over to sh It took around an hour to create the burrito blanket selling machine website. I had three products up for sale. A guacamole pillow, an avocado toast t-shirt, and most importantly, the burrito blanket. The next step is to create an Instagram account for this burrito. <laughs> The Instagram account is made. I have no followers. If somebody looks on my profile wanting to buy something and they see I don't have any followers, they might be a little sketched out in a way. So I have to change that. <laughs> Yep. After searching far and wide throughout the entire internet, I found many people selling Instagram followers, but they were pretty expensive. I decided to give Reddit a try, the same place where I discovered the burrito blanket. I found a few people selling Instagram followers at a very extremely low price. I ended up negotiating with one of the sellers and bought 20,000 followers for $17.50. Really quick disclaimer, I highly don't recommend purchasing Instagram followers. It will destroy your Instagram account on how the Instagram algorithm works. I'm only doing this for an experiment and I don't plan on using the Instagram account after two weeks. Now all I have to do is create a Facebook ad. I used the Facebook ad builder to create a swipe up Instagram story ad with a budget of $5 a day to see how it would go. So I created the Facebook ads and they are now in review by Facebook. They should hopefully approve them soon. Okay, so I created the ad and finalized everything. Now I just have to wait for Facebook to review it. In the meantime, I wanted to do a real world test. My friend Atticus, who has helped me film a few of my videos, was coming by. I wanted to see if he would buy a burrito blanket without him knowing that I was the one selling it. What? Why are you filming? It was this one, the burrito blanket. Right. Oh, well. Are you gonna get it? Yeah. You are? 
Mm-hmm. I just clicked buy with Apple Pay. I don't know. All I have to do is go like this. I just clicked it. Whoa. I didn't buy it. I just clicked it. God damn it. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> you got it? It says, thank you, Atticus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, burrito blanket. You'll receive a confirmation email with your order number shortly. Okay. Confirmation email. There it is. There it is. Wow, I hate you. What did I do? I fucking hate you. What did I do? What actually did you do? I didn't do anything. Oh my god. <laughs> what, did what did you just do? I didn't do anything. What? Oh my god, what the hell? Am I getting a burrito blanket or not? Oh my god. What? What did you just do to me? I didn't do anything. Why do I have an email that says receipt for your payment to info at elixirlabs.net? I don't know. What is that? I have no idea. Am I getting a burrito blanket or not? Or did I just waste $15 on whatever this video is? <laughs> I'm assuming you'd get a burrito blanket. How would I know? What is this? <laughs> elixirlabs.net <sighs> My only question is it's just how long do I have to wait? Like I get it, I get this is like a whole funny little thing that we've done and it's pretty pretty good but I just want to know when it's gonna end. When what is going to end? My life dude, I'm so <laughs> My friend buying the burrito blanket gave me the confidence I need that this could be a good product. A really good product to sell. If he would buy it, the first person I showed the product to, the other people would buy it. Right? Yeah? I mean, it's a burrito blanket. Who wouldn't want to become a burrito and buy the blanket? Right? <laughs> Anyhow, I'll check in later when Facebook hopefully approves that. Alright, so the ad has been approved by Facebook, and so far, nine people clicked on it, and it spent $2.39. No way. No way. No way. Okay. It is 9.07 p.m. I just got a notification. Official burrito blanket has a new order for one item totaling at $14.99. Somebody named Kai. I actually got a sale. Okay. Um, now I have to set it up so the burrito blanket will go to Kai's address. I don't know why, but it says a high risk order. This order has a high risk of fraud, but, uh, I'm just gonna go with it and hope it'll all be okay. All right, here we go. First order, I did not expect it to be same day. And then order product. I was amazed I sold the burrito blanket within the same day of setting up the ad. I didn't expect it to sell so quickly. I guess the person who bought it just really wants to be like me and become a human burrito. Lucky guy he is, Kai. All I do is click confirm and pay. And boom! Wow! Okay, that was easy. I'm done. I just made, how much money did I make? Five dollars profit. Not counting the ad or website expenses. Right now I'm only charging fifteen dollars an order and once I start getting more orders, I'm going to raise the price. This is a genius plan. Gonna be a millionaire, no, billionaire, no, trillionaire, no. Quadrillionaire in no time. Yep, <laughs> okay. There is one more thing I would like to do. I would like to raise the budget and how much money I'm spending a day on this ad. My daily budget right now is $5. I'm going to make that 10. There we go. All right. Now I need two orders a day to pay for the ad, and then I need two additional sales every week to break even. That means I need 16 sales a week. Yeah, yeah, okay, boring. Calculating expenses to make sure I don't lose a bunch of money. Who cares? I doubled the budget the next day to spend $12, but I didn't sell anything. Nobody bought a burrito blanket with... 
$12 in ad spend. A few days passed with me slightly scaling up the budget and I was profiting. And then I decided to just go for it. I went all out and spent $200 in one day on Facebook ads. This gave me $486 in sales. I sold 22 burrito blankets that day. My product costs were very high and my margins were very small. Almost as small as Mr. Fishy. Anyhow, I kept it up for a few days until I was actually profiting. $35.83 in profit. Until a very bad thing happened. An incident which can make any business bankrupt. I got a message from somebody on Instagram. A competitor. Someone who was also selling the burrito blanket. Definitely not as good as the wonderful burrito blankets I'm selling. They wrote to me how they would take legal action against me if I don't stop selling the burrito blanket. I was not doing anything illegal selling this burrito blanket besides making many burrito blanket fans happy. So I just ignored the message. But just a few hours after I've seen the message, my website got blocked from Facebook and Instagram. If you were to click the link on Instagram, it wouldn't load the web page. I can only assume somebody falsely reported my website to Facebook, who I assume the guy who messaged me, and Facebook wrongfully took down my website. Let's take a look at his Instagram profile. He is quite the flexor there, flexing about how rice got messaged him. He makes a lot of money. Okay, 30,000 in a day, 43,000 in a day, 15,000 in a day, 100,000 in a week. He shows off his expensive car. A private plane. Him with what I assume to be a pretty expensive car. Just a uh, quite a interesting guy he seems to be. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyhow, I decided to email Facebook to get my website unblocked, and they did. A few days later, my website was unblocked from Instagram and Facebook. Only problem is that before I realized the website was blocked, I was spending money on an ad for a link which wouldn't work, so I lost a lot of money to ads. But that's okay, because my burrito blanket can still comfort me in these hard times. Thank you, Burrito Blanket. But when I launched the advertising back up, it was bad. Really bad. It was costing me 74 cents for every time somebody swiped up on the ad, while before it was only 42 cents per every swipe up. It is costing nearly double the amount to run the ads as it did before. This was now obviously no longer profitable at all. In total, I spent 1000 $328.98 in advertising. With that, I sold 180 burrito blankets and 5 guacamole pillows. That ended up being $3,763.27 in revenue. Now, to see the final amount of money I made selling burrito blankets, all I have to do is subtract my revenue, $1,152, to how much in Facebook ads I've spent, which is $176.98. But no, not profit. In negative, I lost $176.98 selling burrito blankets. Why? 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 Anyhow, even if dropshipping was profitable for me, I wouldn't like it. And I don't like it. It doesn't really help or contribute anything to anybody. Except you can make money. Or lose money like I did. <laughs> Anyhow, it was a lot of fun while it lasted being a burrito blanket seller. I will now go back to being a YouTuber with my burrito blanket and my burrito. Mm, 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 mm. Like and subscribe and comment below for a cookie. Bye! Money doesn't on trees. This isn't my final form. This is the real me. The earth is flat. You suck at being a cat. That'll do, donkey.